Are you looking for a budget TV box? In this video, we take a look at one of the cheapest TV boxes we could find on Amazon. Coming up. Welcome to Fliphead TV, where we bring to you tutorials and reviews on consumer products. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing for more videos like this. Today, we're going to unbox and review one of the cheapest TV boxes we could find on Amazon. So further ado, let's dive down and get into this. So here we go. There we got Smart TV Box. That's the front. That's the back. The powerful codex capabilities. Support 4K, H.264, H.265 video decoder. Image enhancement processor. Support 4K and 2K. H.264 HD 2.0 display. All the entertainment your TV can handle. Your music, photos, and videos larger than life. Here's the unit. Boy, is that thing small. That thing's real small. There is the power input, USB 2, Ethernet, HD, and audio. On the other side, nothing. On this side, SIM card input, USB. Nothing on this side. So what do we have in the box? We got the power supply. We have a HDMI cable. And we have a remote. and a user manual. So let's go back up top. Hey folks, welcome back up top. We're going to take this little unit and go downstairs and connect it to my big TV to see how it operates, see if it even works, see what it's all about. So I'll see you downstairs. Okay, folks, I just got connected and I have it plugged in. So there we have a short Android TV screen, introductory screen. Let's see what else we get here. Okay, I'm assuming this is your home page. The KD player, the browser, apps, music, settings, clean memory, Google Store, video, Google Store, Netflix, and I'm assuming that is a shortcut for the KD player. So, let's go up here to setup and see how difficult it is to set up. Network, available network. We're going to connect to our company network. So let me set up this password. We'll be right back. Hey folks, welcome back. We have successfully connected. Now, let's get back to our settings. So in here we have our settings. Protect your device, wallpaper, more. Airplane mode, airplane mode, portable hotspot VPN. Let's go down here to display, adaptive brightness, sleep, screen saver. Okay, now down here on the right, we have sound. It has surround sound, apps. It only comes with four apps, Chrome, KD Player, Netflix, and YouTube. 
Then it has system apps, screensaver storage and reset, date and time. This is saying it's July 4th. It's not July 4th, it's July 3rd. Let's go down here, Eastern time, Eastern daylight. Can you set that? It's set to automatic. Okay, language, English, keyboard, location, ad account. I'm assuming ad account, you can add your Google account. So let's go into the browser. Let's see if we can get on YouTube from here. You. Okay. We are totally lost. I don't know what that craziness was. Let's look at video. What's video? Netflix. Cancelled update. That seems like it slows the dickens. Let's go into... Now what is this? Has a gallery. Play store. There's YouTube. Let's see if YouTube will work for us. Okay. I'm hitting okay. Why aren't we getting anywhere? Oops. Let's go back. I'm assuming we need to add YouTube. Well, we've gotten on YouTube so far. Let's see if we can get to our channel. I'm not quite sure if you folks can see that, but the video quality is poor. Very grainy for that video. Let's go find our channel. There we know. Flip head. It says speak, but it does not work. All right. Well, it apparently looks like they are running a old version of the YouTube app. Play Store, Google Store. I will tell you this, this is nothing like the Roku. The Roku has apps already preloaded into it. This I'm not happy with so far. Unless something magically happens here, this isn't worth the money. KD player. What is this? That, I'm a... That looks like you can load your own videos or enter file section, remove this. Let's go to the Google store and see what's in there. Well, they want you to put your account in there. There are the apps that you can start off with. Okay, let's go back upstairs. I'm going to give you my final thoughts on this and finish up on the video. So is the cheapest TV box that you can find on Amazon worth it? No. This thing is a piece of junk. Something I failed to let you all know is this is the T95 S2. There's a closer look at the front. Don't waste your money. 27 bucks, you get exactly what you pay for. Absolute junk. This is going back to Amazon. There were no apps on it. There was nothing except for that K player where you could load your own videos into it. I got a computer to do that. Why do I want a TV box? Or if I want to watch a video on the TV, I'll put it on a thumb drive and plug it in the USB port on my smart TV. The only thing in the box that was worthwhile is you get a three or four foot HDMI cable. Outside of that, it's nothing. So if you liked the video, give it thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, 
hit the subscribe button. Till next time, peace out.